The scanner or ballot box judge gives instructions to the voter on how to insert the ballot into the precinct scanner when used and removes the stubs and deposits the stubs into the stub box. Place your ballot into the scanner. The vote count will go up by one once your vote ballot has been accepted. Return your secrecy envelope to me and I will give you an I voted sticker. If a scanner is not used, the voter hands the ballot back to the designated judge, who removes the stubs and deposits the ballot into the ballot box in the presence of the voter, and deposits the stubs into the stub box. The scanner ballot box judge must be careful to never inadvertently look at a voter's ballot while assisting the voter. The voter may insert the ballot in any orientation, right side up, upside down, the machine will accept in any direction. The voting machine will show the number of voters who deposited a ballot. The voter should watch the screen to ensure their ballot was accepted and that the voter count went up by one. Once the scanner judge sees that the voting machine has accepted the ballot or has been deposited into the ballot box, the judge may deposit the stubs into the stub box. The scanner or ballot judge must always wait to ensure the voter's ballot has truly been accepted before depositing the stubs. In the event that the ballot cannot be accepted, the stubs must go with the ballot. Don't forget the I Voted sticker. Thank you for voting. The scanner or ballot box judge juggles several duties on election day. They must provide instructions to voters on how to return their ballot. They deposit the ballot stubs into the stub box. But the best part? maybe sending the voter off with a smile and an I Voted sticker. <laughs>